on my tab. to take my revenge on you. <laughs> Stand down, Cozy Glow. Gee, I guess I could, but... I'm having too much fun! <laughs> Ready, sister? Wait, what are you... No! That's the problem with you magic types. You're so reliant on all your special power, you forget to use your brains! Keep telling yourself that. Now! Your pathetic shield can stop us. <laughs> the pillars have been defeated. Your school is abandoned. Face it, Twilight. You've lost. You can attack us, and we may fall, but Equestria will still stand, united in friendship. And we won't stop until we defeat you, no matter how many ponies you take down. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you all notice something was wrong in Equestria? We've been busy. A whisper here, a rumor there. Destroy some crops, cause some damage. Turn pony against pony. Until your whole kingdom is on edge, waiting for just one tiny thing to push them over the brink. There's no backup friends or rainbow magic to save you now. Golly, I think it's time for some redecorating. What's stronger than friendship, Twilight? Fear! Because when you have to protect yourself, you don't have time for any pony else. Too bad you never taught that in school. and the shards cancel even our powers. But on this side of the cavern, we are the most powerful beings in Equestria! Thanks to Grogar's bell. Isn't that right, Grogar? What are you doing? You saw what happened when you tried to take Discord's chaos magic. Yeah, but there's Alicorn Princess magic in there now, too! I could be so much more powerful if I just could have... What do you mean, you could be? Um, hello? I'm the best one out of all of us. Nobody sees me. What are you talking about? The best at what? This is really bad. We gotta find Twilight. She's probably already figured out some way to defeat those monsters. Any idea how we get out of here to do that? Too sticky. There's no way any pony could get through this. I'm so sorry. 
It made so much sense in my head. Twilight defeats her worst enemies and is filled with confidence. I truly did have the best intentions. I swear I'll make it up to you. That's gonna need to be a pretty epic makeup. Stay away from the bell, you pest! None of us can use the Alicorn's magic until we figure out how to handle that fool's ridiculous chaos magic. I could always tell you how. It would give you power over all reality, but you'd have to ask nicely and spare my friends. No, Discord! This isn't the way to help! Discord, could you please? Threats are more my speed. Speak! He's lying. He won't tell us. I certainly won't tell you after the way you lied to me last time we teamed up, you muscle-bound cretin. This cretin could destroy you before you blink, so choose your words carefully. You're right. Cretin is too polite. How about pathetic centaur, who uses magic to compensate for the fact that deep down, he's afraid he'll never be enough to please dear old dad, King Vora? <laughs> you missed! Did he, though? Get her! Get Twilight! No way! She's always needed you guys! Twilight. We may not have our magic, but we aren't completely helpless. We'll hold them off as long as we can. That was a pretty epic makeup. Just save Equestria and keep Fluttershy safe. Why are you out in the open? Hide! Where is every pony? The unicorns have been gathering in Celestia's School of Magic ever since the attack. That's where I was headed when I saw you. What about the Earth Ponies and Pegasi? It's every pony for themselves. That ain't right. Well, you can all stand out here and debate. I'm going where I'm safe. Chrysalis was telling the truth. They really have turned ponies against each other. Every pony's scared, that's all. We just need to get to Ponyville and find Twilight pronto. She'll know how to set things right. Now, all together! <laughs> ha! You again! <laughs> if I wanted to play games, I would get out my pinnacle deck! after this adventure. That doesn't leave this temple. That's it. I'm quitting the hench pony business to finally follow my dreams of becoming an opera star. Uh, maybe you should hold this. You cannot hide in there forever. It's a dead end. <laughs> Ali Zoda won't give up until he catches us. I think our problem is the solution. Uh, did you forget there's a monster out there that wants to crush us? But why? No pony ever asked Ali Zoda what his side of the story is. He must have a reason for being so upset. Or maybe he's just a bad guy. Do I need to remind you he tried to squash Daring Do like a hundred times? Me as well. I was so scared I had to change my ascot. Yes, curse this truth teller! Understanding begins with listening. Uh, prepare to meet your doom! Um, not really. Just here to ask, why are you chasing us, Mr. Awizoto? Well, the thing is, 
I'm in charge of protecting this jungle. If another artifact goes missing on my watch, I'm going to be in so much trouble with the other guardian creatures. Oh, that sounds like a lot of responsibility. It is! And those two have taken so many relics from my land, my job is on the line. So, maybe I am a little violent and ferocious. Can you blame me? The only reason I've been taking the artifacts is because I thought I was protecting them. I was stealing them to get rich. But I never realized you had a noble cause. I thought you were just being a monster. <sighs> I get that a lot. Maybe there is something to this whole listening to every pony thing. It doesn't always mean they're telling the truth, but every creature deserves kindness. True. And because you returned the talisman and took the time to understand me, I will let you all go. On one condition. You swear to never steal artifacts from the Tenochtitlan Basin again. I promise. I'll even write that in my next book. Your next book? You mean you're actually A.K. Yearling? Don't tell any pony. That gives me an idea. Hey, what's going on? I thought your first co-written novel would bring out a ton of fans. We've been upstaged by a new author. And so the noble Awizotl bravely toiled day and night to protect the jungle's precious artifacts. chores on your list, huh? Didn't you? Well, technically I did him, kind of. But more technically, it's not my list. You wrote it! Did I, though? What's gotten into you? You do not want to know. Huh? Angel? What's wrong with her? Him? What happened? He's exhausted. Fluttershy, I need a jar of concentrated carrot extract. Stat! Uh, it's locked in the supply room. Where are your keys? Uh, any ideas how to get the keys out of the elephant that's inside the snake? Okay, point taken. And I totally deserve it. I did not provide you with the care that Fluttershy would. But now you know what it's like not to get the level of attention to which you become accustomed. The point is, Fluttershy is trapped in my bunny body. If we don't help her, maybe none of us will get her attention. I get that you don't want to help me, but don't you want to help her? Here goes nothing. <gasps> now we just need to get those keys out of there. <laughs> nice one, Snake. I guess Fluttershy was right. Predators and prey can work together. This place is so much work. Oh, I know. I have no clue how you do it all, but we are so grateful. I can't believe she does this every day. I just wish I could tell her myself. You're awake! 
It was so hard getting to Zakora's hut, and impossible getting back. You can't believe I survived like this? Well, I can't believe you work here every day. These animals are crazy. No wonder you don't have time for me. My life is hard? No, your life is hard. You never appreciated me? No, I never appreciated you. You're sorry? I'm sorry, too! Come here, you little bunny who's a pony who's a bunny, too! Oh my goodness! I'm back! I'm a pony again! Oh, Angel, I promise to always make time for you from now on. What do you mean maybe I won't have to? You want to do what? And that's when I realized Fluttershy doesn't have to be the only one I talk to. I can come here and talk to all of you. Starlight? I just thought I'd check in to see how the search for a vice headmare was going. A lot better now. Okay. I really wanted it to be a friend, so I ended up pushing aside some pretty big signs that it wasn't gonna work out. Not every pony is right for every job, but every pony has something to contribute. The trick is figuring out what. What if you and your friend can't figure it out? If you have a job to do, you have to decide what's best and be upfront and honest, even if that means you can't work with a friend on it. So, I guess that means talking to them at the beginning, instead of stringing them along until you get so frustrated you totally lose it and say a bunch of really awful things? Pretty much. Oh. Trixie? I know you're in there. Well, you're wrong! I'm sorry for all those things I said. I just really wanted it to work out, even though I knew it probably wouldn't. I should have said something sooner. Obviously, we can't have what we want, because I'm terrible at everything and could never help you with anything. You aren't terrible, and you have a lot of great qualities. Maybe not vice head mayor qualities, but great and powerful friend qualities. Well, you really stand by the ponies you care about. Gallus even said no creatures ever stuck up for him the way you did with Grandpa Gruff. It would have been nice to run the school together, but not every pony is right for every job. I know how you take your responsibilities seriously, and maybe I should have known I wasn't exactly a perfect fad. If it makes you feel any better, no pony was. What do you mean? Well, Dr. Hooves has decided to go back to his experiments, and Octavia is worried the responsibilities of Vice Head Mayor will take too much time away from her music. Maybe getting a Vice Head Mayor was a bad idea. Starlight, obviously you'd like some help, and hiring a Vice Head Mayor is a great idea. But who could it be? Well, you need some pony who's responsible, like you, and detail-oriented, like Twilight, and smart, obviously. It is a school, after all. It would be nice if I got along with them, since having it be a friend can't work out. Maybe it can. And I knew as soon as I read Trixie's scroll that it was the exact right thing for me to do. But what about being Flurry Heart's crystaller? Well, honestly, now that Flurry Heart's a little older, there really isn't much for me to do outside of the occasional tradition or festival. And working at a school is what I always thought I'd do. I mean, if you'll have me. Are you kidding? You're hired! I had a feeling this would work out. Oh, Trixie, thank you so much. Between being insightful when I want to be and giving good advice when I don't mean to, I suppose I can be a pretty good friend. More than that, actually. You really did give good advice. And you helped me talk through the problem of finding the right pony for the job. And we know you care about the students. Trixie, the great and powerful advice giver, problem talk through her, and student care about her. Eh, I think I'll go with friend. Friend is perfect. But there's a position here at the school you might be right for, too. What would you say to being the School of Friendship's new student counselor? 
say this office needs a bit of redecorating. Potted plants scream desperation. Fill this no! I can't believe I'm disqualified! <laughs> I'm sorry, Pinky. I guess I forgot about that rule. Oh no! If I'm out, you don't have a partner! You won't be able to get your third win! Actually, since there's another player who has also had his teammate disqualified... Rule 19.7b, whereby players whose teammates were disqualified may form a new team. Oh! Okay. Um, I'll just cheer you on from over there. The next category is Ancient Legends. Oh, we're gonna crush this round. Yeah, I don't know, Twilight. You seem mad at the zone today. But don't worry, I can pick up the slack. What? I am the reigning trot champ. If there's any slack that needs picking, I'll be the up. I mean, wait. I'm just saying, you seem a little frazzled, and I do have a correct answer percentage to maintain. Who traveled to Equestria from a distant land seeking to steal the magic from its pony inhabitants? That would be Lord Tyrek. Technically, that answer is incomplete. The answer is Lord Tyrek and Scorpan. But Scorpan tried to convince Tyrek not to do it, so technically he wasn't part of it, even if it started out. <sighs> Never mind. Look, Sunburst, I realize I may have been a little off earlier, but I'm really good at this game. How many holes are there in Daring Do's hat? 20! Correct! <laughs> Twilight? I knew that one! You just cost us a point and the correct answer I needed to boost my percentage! Well, I knew it too! You're not the only pony to ever read a book, you know. You're right, Twilight. I'm sorry, but now that I think about it, I'm not so sure about Dash's answer. Could you do a quick fact check? Oh, I know it's 20, but if you want proof... Wait, according to Rule 18.3, I can't check outside reference material. <sighs> Are you trying to get me disqualified? What kind of pony would do that to their own teammate? You're right, Twilight. I don't know what got into me. I was so focused on my correct answers, I wasn't thinking straight. Can you forgive me? It's okay, Sunburst. I understand. And I have a teammate of my own to apologize to. Lucky for you, Cranky's awake. And according to Rule 57.6b... Players previously disqualified for sleeping may rejoin the game, provided they're well-rested. Yeah, where am I? What time is it? Where are my morning hay cakes? Pinky, you were the best teammate I could ask for, but I let wanting to win keep me from seeing that. <sighs> I knew you wanted to win, but I probably could have helped a little. And even if I couldn't. We still could have had fun. I'm so sorry for not realizing it. I got so obsessed with one thing, I forgot what really mattered. No, that doesn't sound like you at all. Well, win or lose, Nothing is more important than my friend. Or my team. Twi Pie forever? Uh, I don't know. I understand. I guess even the Princess of Friendship can mess things up with her friends. Oh, it's not that. It's just that I already changed it to Team Twi Person. Now I guess I should change it to Sun Doodle? So you're saying it's a mix up of the sounds that I just made? that coaxed the snicker from your throat in a delicate cascade. If I did it one more time, if I reproduced that feat, mixed up some letters here and there, you'd lily bath too sweet. <laughs> then that's all I need to do. That's who I need to be. I thought I needed laughter, but it has to come from me. Squirting flowers and knobby knees. Rubber chicken's my expertise. 
If you want laughter, then stick with cheese. Yeah! I suppose now I should amp things up to get the thing I'm after. Move whole syllables around and change them passes to get laughter. Can't stop now, I'm on a roll. I've almost got it back. Bright folks like you aren't subject to my play on words attack. With something else I'll have to play to get me where I'm going. What are you gonna do? Some comedia del arte. <laughs> to get the laughter flowing. And it's what I need to do. It's who I need to be. I thought I needed laughter, but it has to come from me. Follow right behind if you please. Walk this way and I guarantee. If you want laughter, then stick with cheese. and dungarees. I know jokes like my ABCs. If you want laughter, then stick with cheese. <laughs> and now my biggest test, the hardest fish to fry. Ooh. A mind so analytical, a sense of humor dry. So How did the laughing bird's eggs hatch? They cracked up! Sir, that is so ridiculous! <laughs> So good to have you back, sir. Finally, we can get the factory back to how things used to be. Sans, my good pony, I don't think I can run this factory anymore. But you can! Without you? Uh, I don't understand. Pinky was right. This is what I need! <laughs> I just can't have funny ideas. I need to wander the land and see ponies laughing at them. You can run the factory, but I need to live! And don't think I've forgotten about you, little buddy. I knew you'd be on board. And don't worry, out on Equestria, I'll have more great ideas for gags, and I'll send them all to you. Sir, are you sure this is what you want to do? Of course, it's my life's purpose. Hey, that's what I came here looking for. You did? <laughs> well, come on, let's figure it out. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm good. And then I said goodbye, and then I came here. Oh, and then I gathered you all together and started telling you about it. On this potion, please depend. Any separation, mend. Friends together till the end. We just gotta dab a little on our hooves. Sounds perfect, right? Better than perfect. Is something supposed to happen? Is this the something that's supposed to happen? The book didn't really say. <laughs> Thanks for trying, Apple Bloom, but I might as well face it. I'm gonna have to leave Ponyville. Don't give up, Scootaloo. This just gave me an even better idea how to keep you here. Come on! Whoa! Maybe we'd better see Zakora about fixing this first. We're running out of time. This has to work! Scootaloo, I know you're having fun with your friends, but we need to get all our things to the station. We can't miss tomorrow's train. It's the only one for a month. Then you'll just have to go without me. I'm staying with the CMCs. We are chained to this pole. 
most! And nothing and no pony is gonna move us, no matter what. We just sold the house, Scoot. I know this is hard to accept, but just... It's more than hard! It's not fair! You're making me pick between my family and my friends! Oh, Scootaloo, moving away won't stop you three from caring about each other. Why don't you sleep over with Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom tonight? It'll give you a chance to say a real goodbye. But I don't want to say goodbye! You're changing my whole life without even asking how I feel! <laughs> without me. Then we're coming with ya. Are you sure? I don't want to get you in trouble. Rarity won't be mad. Applejack neither. I bet you do the same thing for her friends. You're the best, you know that? We're the best. Together! <gasps> Scootaloo! What a nice surprise. And I've got a surprise for you. You three inspired me to finish my quilt. See, it's Cutie Mark Crusader themed. We love hearing stories about all the ponies you've helped. So Lofty decided to celebrate the special job you three do. <sighs> it's still a work in progress. It's not your quilt we're sad about, Auntie Lofty. Mom and Dad are back, and they're making me move to Shire Lanka with them. Snap and mine are back? They didn't tell me that. Oh, I think the male pony delivered your letter to my house. I love my family, but I love being with my friends, too. I don't want to have to choose. Well, then why don't your parents just stay in Ponyville? Their job is too important. That's it! Is this another potion idea? No! Scootaloo's parents are the only ponies in Equestria that can do what they do, right? Right? Too bad no pony else wants to come out, but I'm glad we're doing this together. <laughs> Me too. It's been a long time since I was on a real seedling hunt, and this is the first time doing it with my little sister. <sighs> when did you start trying to catch the great seedling? I couldn't have been much more than a foal. I remember our parents tucking Big Mac and me in and telling us all about the great seedling. Oh, I got so excited, I could barely sleep. So I... <sighs> Don't you worry, Sugar Cube. I won't let him get away. Jack, wake up! Huh? What is it? I think a trap went off! Well, let's go check it out! See anything? Mm-mm. Don't scare him off. We gotta lead him into one of the traps. I'm not worried about scaring him. and asleep this whole time. Big Mac is the great seedling? 
You okay, Big Mac? Mm, nope. <laughs> and thanks to all of Big Mac's late night work, we brought in the whole harvest with time to spare. No wonder you were so tired all the time. Mm, yep. I'm glad we solved the mystery, but I really wanted to catch the great seedling before I get too old to try. You know what, Sugar Q? You're never too old to be a filly. There will always be work to do, but having fun together is something you never grow out of. Well, looks like you don't need me no more. Time to get home before Dottie gets in the catnip again. I have stories about that, I'll tell you what. <laughs> We're real glad you came, Goldie. Sure are. Come back next year. Oh, looks like you forgot to clean up the carrots. Huh. Big Mac wasn't harvesting the carrots, just the apples. Well, I hope you're enjoying yourself on your super relaxing picnic, sister. I would be if you hadn't made us hike through a million prickle bushes. Uh, well, they hurt less than that horrible howling you dragged us to. That was Ponyachi, and it's an opera. And you made us leave early, even though it was still my turn. Oh, oh just face it, Luna. You are never happy. Because you don't want me to be happy. I always have to do things your way. I bet you wish I'd never come back so you could still rule day and night. Oh, you think I like that kind of pressure? Being responsible for every little thing in Equestria and you? What I'd like is a sister I can depend on. You mean boss around? Calm down, Luna. No. And don't you dare use your canterlot voice on me. I think this adventure would be better if I did it by myself. Fine. I just remembered something I forgot I always wanted to do. Be alone. Guess we have the same thing on both of our lists then. Part, exactly? The princesses never do all the ceremony planning by themselves. They don't? Of oh, goodness, no. That's what the gala planning committees are for. No pony could handle all this. Of oh, those sequins? Still rude. Ooh, new plan, every pony. We're going to delegate. You, you're on food duty. I need gemstones. And purple satin! Tell the ponies at the gates that there's a slight delay on the gala. Oh, um, if it's not too much trouble, I mean. Uh, now who can we get to clean up all this garbage? I'm delegating! So this is how you rule Equestria. are so much more relaxing without my bossy sister. <laughs> Who needs a gloomy sister moping around all the time anyway? <laughs> Honestly, princess, didn't you wear any sunblock? That's a thing? <sighs> Celestia would have warned me if she were here. Now, was it two left turns and a right, or two right turns and a left? Luna always handled directions. Oh, 
I thought climbing Mount Filimanjaro was on my list. I'm not copying you. I just wanted to watch the sunrise. Ah, uh, I'm uh, here for the moonset. Uh, what? Let's hope Silverstream found a good place to hide. There could be hundreds more cockatrices on the way. If this really is a migration, it'll take a full lunar cycle to complete. Oh, I have to get word back to our parents that Silverstream could be surrounded by those terrifying birds. And as handsome as Mudbriar is now, we should probably catch one of them to turn him back to normal. Ugh, this is all my fault. I'm never taking time off from my counseling duties again. That seems a little extreme. Really? If I hadn't galloped off to a holiday celebration, Silverstream would be safe with her family and you'd all be enjoying Mott's party. Instead, my student is missing, we're surrounded by a flock of petrifying chicken snakes, and Mod's boyfriend was turned into a hunk of rock! You got the hunk part right. And to top it off, we have no idea if Silverstream even came to Everfree at all. But I have no idea where else to look! Has that always been there? What? Oh, that's the student's treehouse. Apparently it grew from the Tree of Harmony and... Of course! That should have been the first place we looked! <sighs> Silver Stream, look out! Counselor Starlight, no! Wait! She's helping me with my project. I don't understand. After you encouraged me to solve my own problem, I decided to get my project done before I left. That way I could really focus on my family during my visit. The school was closed, so I came here. Why didn't you tell anyone? Mom and Dad are worried sick. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Once Edith volunteered to help, I guess I lost track of time. Cockatrices are really friendly if you know how to interact with them. I can't believe you figured out how to trigger her nesting response. They are really fascinating creatures. Did you know that they migrate to the Everfree Forest once a year? Can you imagine what would happen if you stumbled on a whole flock of these? I have a few ideas. Oh. I'm sorry you got turned to stone looking for me, but I'm glad Edith was able to turn you back. How do you tell the difference? I have mixed feelings about it. Technically, I will always be a stick pony, but the experience has given me an even deeper appreciation for the density and permanence of rock. Swoon. Silverstream and I should get going, but I wanted to thank you for everything you did to help find her. I just wish I hadn't abandoned her in the first place. Starlight, you didn't abandon her. I might as well have. And even though it turned out all right, things could have been a lot worse. You can't be expected to supervise your students every second of every day. I'm not so sure. I like that you're always available, but it kind of makes it okay to come to you with stuff that maybe isn't super important. Of course, being a school counselor is a big responsibility, but always being at work isn't fair to any pony, especially me. Do you think if I had set times to see me, it might help you decide what you really need to talk about? To be honest, you really weren't very helpful with the other stuff anyway. Yeah, wait, what? Happy Spring Solstastic, every pony! Who wants a piece of Mrs. Cake's famous... Petrified dessert? You had me at petrified. <laughs> <laughs> Good friend reminded me that I can make anything I care about totally awesome. So, from now on, I'm gonna give this thing 120%. And I expect the same from you. We are gonna dance. We are gonna cheer. We're gonna make the biggest pony pyramid Equestria's ever seen. And when we're done, we're gonna make sure every pony on that field is so pumped up, they'll forget they even came to see a game! Yeah, but not so pumped up that they forget to buy a pennant, or a button, or a quality souvenir t-shirt. What?
Traditionally requires an earth pony, a pegasus, and a unicorn, but I appreciate you allowing my students to compete. Of course! And the wings and magical dampening ring you made seem to be working really well. Indeed, though not as well as your team. Come on, school of magic! Oh, this suspense is horrible. I'm the most nervous I've ever been. And that's saying something. I know how you feel! Don't worry, Celestia's team might be tough, but we can still win this thing! What? Oh yeah, totally. But I wasn't talking about the game. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! And that's the end of the first half. Yeah! Sorry, can't talk right now. I sure hope Dash being nervous is a good sign. I used to react, but I really have changed. Panicking won't solve anything. But we can handle whatever problems come our way, as long as we handle them together. Spoken like a true leader. How can we help? I love a good to-do list. So tell me exactly what happened so we can figure out exactly what to do to fix it. to look forward to. 
But as we look towards Equestria's future, I am sad to say that today will be the last Summer Sun celebration. Because there is something even more important to celebrate. There are two ponies who have watched over us night and day for as long as we can remember. We will no longer commemorate their battle or their reunion. Instead, we will take this day to celebrate how much they mean to all of us. From this day forward, today will be known as the Festival of the Two Sisters. Yeah! We don't know what to say. <laughs> a brand new holiday? You're my kind of princess. I'm just glad we pulled it off. About that, we just wanted to say we're real sorry. You did tell us you'd changed. As your friends, we should have trusted you. Next time you say you're not gonna freak out, we'll believe you. Good, because I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of things I'll need my best friend's help with. <laughs> you know, it really does seem like you just might be ready for whatever comes next, Your Majesty. So, did you find what you're looking for? Once again, I've found success where you all find failure. I have located what I sought, and tomorrow I will set out to retrieve it. When I return, Equestria will finally be ours for the taking. Hmm. Oh, stop pouting. You knew you couldn't stay that buff. You had to return all the life force to those Earth ponies so Grogar doesn't suspect anything. I don't have to like it. I quite enjoyed our day together, Spike. Yeah. Hi, Spike. Uh-huh. Hmm. I've never seen Spike this sad before. Do you know what happened? <clears throat> yes, well. Perhaps he's still just tired from Power Pony Palooza. I don't think that's it. Well, I suppose it's possible it could have something to do with <coughs> Gabby not wanting to spend time with him anymore. What? I thought the two of them were hanging out all the time. They were! Honestly, it took everything I had to convince him to spend any time with me at all. But between crystal gem crevasses, Power Pony conventions, and a marathon game of oh and O, oh, I managed to get some time in. It sounds like you made sure he didn't have any time to spend with Gabby at all. What? <clears throat> I certainly did not. Well, I suppose I may have monopolized him a teeny bit. <sighs> I've just grown so used to having Spiky Wikey around. I wasn't prepared for how much I'd miss him when he wasn't. Friendships change, but just because Spike made a new friend doesn't mean he stops being yours. I know, but now I have to share him. Which I suppose I'll have to get used to. <gasps> right after I fix this mess I've made. Good talk. <sighs> Rarity, is all this stuff for Spike again? Wouldn't it be easier to just give it to him? And why are you even here? I am here to apologize, actually. More to confess. And all of this stuff isn't for Spike. It's the evidence against me! Evidence? For what? For my acts of utter selfishness! I don't understand. These are the items I use to lure Spike into spending as much time with me as possible. They are? You did? Rarity, what are you doing? Well, obviously I'm apologizing to Gabby so the two of you can renew your friendship, Spike. Now please, even if you can't forgive me, you simply must forgive <gasps> Spike! Oh! I actually owe you an apology, too. You apologize a lot. Oh, I wish I didn't need to. But the more time you two spent together, the more I missed my time with Spike, and the more I used every means at my disposal to get it back. I am truly sorry. You really miss spending time with me? Oh, of course. I have to say, after not hanging out with you, I understand why. You're kind of awesome! And I know what it's like to miss that now, too. So, do you think maybe we could start hanging out again? Absolutely. I don't suppose you'd like some company on your rounds right now. I sure would! Wonderful! 
I can't tell you how pleased I am that the two of you have... <laughs> ...reconciled. I suppose Twilight is right. Friendships do change. Of course, Spike and I will always be friends. And I can get used to sharing him. Oh, the, uh, uh, oh, oh. Sorry, I just didn't want to drop another one and wake the bats. Darling, catching the gems is what the basket is for. Wow, you two need to be a lot quieter. Spike, how wonderful to see you. Yeah, Gabby and I had a great day, but I'll always still want my rarity time. Sorry, Pinky. I guess I forgot about that rule. Oh, no! If I'm out, you don't have a partner! You won't be able to get your third win! Actually, since there's another player who has also had his teammate disqualified... Rule 19.7b, whereby players whose teammates were disqualified may form a new team. Twilight, you seem out of the zone today. But don't worry, I can pick up the slack. What? I am the reigning trot champ. If there's any slack that needs picking, I'll be the up. I mean, wait. I'm just saying, you seem a little frazzled, and I do have a correct answer percentage to maintain. Who traveled to Equestria from a distant land seeking to steal the magic from its pony inhabitants? That would be Lord Tirek. Technically, that answer is incomplete. The answer is Lord T-Rex and Scorpan. But Scorpan tried to convince T-Rex not to do it, so technically he wasn't part of it, even if it started out... Uh, never mind. Look, Sunburst, I realize I may have been a little off earlier, but I'm really good at this game. How many holes are there in Daring Do's hat? 20! Correct! <laughs> Twilight? I knew that one! You just cost us a point and the correct answer I needed to boost my percentage! Well, I knew it too. You're not the only pony to ever read a book, you know. You're right, Twilight. I'm sorry, but now that I think about it, I'm not so sure about Dash's answer. Could you do a quick fact check? Oh, I know it's 20, but if you want proof... Wait, according to Rule 18.3, I can't check outside reference material. <gasps> Are you trying to get me disqualified? What kind of pony would do that to their own teammate? You're right, Twilight. I don't know what got into me. I was so focused on my correct answers, I wasn't thinking straight. Can you forgive me? It's okay, Sunburst. I understand. And I have a teammate of my own to apologize to. Lucky for you, Cranky's awake. And according to Rule 57.6b... Players previously disqualified for sleeping may rejoin the game, provided they're well-rested. Yeah, where am I? What time is it? Where are my morning hay cakes? Pinky, you were the best teammate I could ask for, but I let wanting to win keep me from seeing that. I knew you wanted to win, but I probably could have helped a little. And even if I couldn't. We still could have had fun. I'm so sorry for not realizing it. I got so obsessed with one thing, I forgot what really mattered. No, that doesn't sound like you at all. Well, win or lose, Nothing is more important than my friend, or my team. Twi-Pi forever? Uh, I don't know. 
I understand. I guess even the Princess of Friendship can mess things up with her friends. Oh, it's not that. It's just that I already changed it to Team Twipers, and now I guess I should change it to Sundoodle? 